know. So, this is my first time posting speed paint here in probably years. And certainly the first time I've ever uh, done one with voiceover. I often say, don't ever delete pieces that you get stuck on. Because I started this back in January. And as of time of recording, this is like April 25th. And I came back to this piece yesterday because I'm like, I don't know what to draw. And I came back to this piece and I'd been stuck on it when I left it. I had no idea how to fix it, and I come back four months later, and it's turned into one of my favorite pieces that I've done in a very long time. So this is going to be my May 4th drawing this year. I haven't done one of those in a very, in, in like probably a couple of years. I kind of fell out of uh, drawing for the fandom, because um, it just wasn't something that I wanted to do. I got into drawing random land landscapes and I'd burnt myself out on drawing my Star Wars characters because I I am not great at coming up with uh, character backstories and like personalities and stuff so I, I was putting too much pressure on myself and then wound up just not wanting to draw them again because I'm like That's, why am I drawing these cardboard cutouts I don't care about and I I have a bad habit of putting too much pressure on myself. Oh my goodness. So, drawing fan art is tough for me, but, you know. Um, this is my Jedi character, Halo. Just random Togruta I came up with a while back. I'm like, Halo, it's a, it's a name. <laughs> it's better than nothing. I say I picked a random name for Halo, but... In reality, the way she got her name is a little bit interesting. So I originally set out to just make a Togruta OC because I had fallen out of love with my original Togruta OC. But yeah, I had set out to make an OC, give her all of this backstory in the hopes that I wouldn't lose motivation to draw them if they had a story. But um, the opposite seems to be true at the moment. Like... I had planned to give her this whole backstory of how she had lost her memories, just woken up in the like, the New Republic era after the whole Return of the Jedi thing. Nobody knew her name, and so they just called her Halo because she originally had this um, very distinctive scar on her forehead that kind of looked like a halo. But um, I ended up scrapping that whole backstory nonsense and just the scar itself. This was supposed to be a drawing of her when she's a little bit younger, like newly knighted just before Geonosis. Clone Wars haven't started yet, but you know, th this is probably the youngest I've ever drawn her. I usually draw her in her full uh, Clone Wars armor and, you know, like stuff during the war because that's just where I was when I came up with it. I, I don't have a story for her. That's that's another thing. I I don't know what her story is other than she does not survive Order 66. She she doesn't. She's a very happy person, well loved by pretty much everybody. So it's like it, it's very much a tragedy and I I'm not a big fan of tragedies because it hurts me. But, you know, <laughs> part of giving a character depth is giving them struggles, giving them something to fight against, giving them some pain. As much as I hate it, I just want them all to be happy. Honestly, I think the most amount of time I spent on this piece was uh, drawing her lightsaber. I spent several hours on this piece. Um, I spent a total of nine hours on this piece, like the actual piece itself, but I, at the same time, I also drew out her lightsaber design because I'm like, I need to give her a proper lightsaber. That took me an hour, so all in all, this whole thing took me 10 hours to make. I'm super happy with it. Very much, very much a fan of how um, that kind of comic book-like style that I ended up going with, because I I don't know where that came from, but like that's that's been popping up a little bit in my art recently. I'm a big fan of bright colors, textures, Dramatic lighting, that sort of thing. You can probably see it, depending on where we are in the video. But, like, as soon as we get to the shading, you will see. You will see. You will understand what I mean when I say dramatic lighting. Honestly, um, 
trying to make sure some of the colors of the, her actual outfit came through was one of the toughest things when it came to the shading because there was a point where everything just kind of looked green because of the way I'd done the lighting and it did not look great. But thankfully, I managed to fix it. <laughs> I managed to get it to look right instead of like all washed out and all yellow because as you guys probably saw during the flat color stage, she's wearing a uh, purple belt. I'm not sure what kind of belt thing that is. I just drew it because it looks cool and I like the way it looks on her. But yeah, <laughs> this this is just something fun. I very much enjoy like the random environment with stars in the background. I'm like, I don't know where this is. I'm assuming she's exploring some kind of cave probably with some like an old temple ruin or something. Possibly like an old Sith temple something, who knows? Ugh, the red backlighting was such a chance. And I'm very glad that I did it because it looks so cool, but like, ooh. And I'm also glad that I extended it downwards to kind of give that more. You're looking up at her, it looks dramatic, it looks posing sort of thing. But yeah, <laughs> I hope you guys enjoy. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening to me ramble for six minutes. <laughs> May the force be with you. Have fun.